Hey guys, welcome back to Arkansas Fishing Videos. Uh, I had a, a gentleman leave a comment on the video that I did on the DPI hatches that I purchased for our boat project, and he had a few questions, and so I wanted to do a follow-up video um, to answer some of those for him. The first thing he, uh, or first question he asked, or, or one of the questions he asked rather, was uh, about uh, being non-slip or texture. And there, it does. It is pretty textured, and I'm going to show you a, a, a tight shot on the lid, so you can kind of see what kind of um, you know. It's not really slick, and I think even uh, if it was wet, you wouldn't. You probably wouldn't slip. You would have pretty good traction on it. Um, one of the other questions that he had was if it was uh, watertight. And these ha the um, locks on it. There's two locks on this one. The, the smaller ones that I just purchased only have one. But I mean they're they're pretty snug and I'll show you that as well in a, uh, a little tighter shot so you can kind of see how tightly they close but I mean there's no play in that at all um, and then the last question he had was whether or not you could stand on it and you can't stand on these there's no flex on it and I'm gonna pause the video in just a second and I will uh, I'll actually stand on it I'm 235 on a good day 240 on a bad one um, and I'll stand on it. It completely supports my weight. There's no flex in it at all. I mean, you could stand on it all day. We probably won't be standing on it all day on this boat. We've got enough front deck space. Um, we, we really kind of designed this just so we could have our batteries up front for some added weight. So if there's just one person in the boat and, and you're running your motor in the back, that you, you know, kind of levels the boat out. But you can, you can stand on this. I don't have it screwed down to the deck yet. It's just sitting in the hole that we cut, but I'll uh, I'll pause the the video now and um, show you kind of a tight shot of me standing on it, and so you can I'll you know I'll step off and step onto it so you can kind of see what that looks like. All right, so I'm on the, take a step onto it and kind of show you what that looks like. There's no no flex in it. You can step out on the sides. I mean. I'm not, I just have the boat on the trailer, so I'm not going to jump up and down on it, but you, you obviously could. There's no, no flex or give at all in that, in that hatch. I'll show you the locks for it now. So these are pretty tight. I mean, there's no, you can't pull it up at all when those are locked down. And then here's the lip I was talking about. I don't know exactly how high it is, but any any you know a little bit of water, if you were open to open that hatch, it would it would catch in there. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do was answer uh, the gentleman's question, uh, Jim was the gentleman's name and he actually subscribed to the channel and I wanna uh, take a second just to say thank you. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Uh, the main thing I wanna do is answer his questions about the, uh, you know, being non-slip uh, non or if it had any texture on it and how well it uh, uh, closed. So I think I've answered that. Um, if anybody else has any questions about anything you seen in any of the videos or either any uh, of the boat project please feel free to drop them in the, the comment section below the video and I'll, I'll answer them to the to the best of my knowledge um, if you want to see the start of the project I'll put a link up above and you can do that and if you want to see the project through to completion you can hit the subscribe button down below and hit the uh, notification bell and you'll be notified when I uh, upload new videos I'm trying to do a video a week as we uh, progress we're really getting close we're just about uh, we're almost finished uh, we've ordered we've got a majority of our electronics in and we've got some lights ordered from Amazon and we'll be wiring it for lights um, soon and uh, if you haven't seen uh, last week's video as well about the motor we did find a 15 horse uh, mercury motor so we'll um, we'll be getting that on so it's coming along pretty pretty well and we should be finishing up here soon so uh, anyway, that's this week's video, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.